So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your second chatbot development tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to pretty much set up everything required to develop your first chatbot. Right, so let's get started. Well, what happens is that uh, when you develop an app right here with Facebook, you need an app for technically everything you do with Facebook APIs or something. So if I create a new app, right, and I go with basic setup, I name my app to be like code damn chatbot and my email address to be like that. And if I just go ahead with uh, communication as the category and uh, I check all the wristwatches, summit and await and I wait and wait okay so now if I go ahead and get started with my messenger right and I go ahead and set up a webhook now what happens is that this callback URL now what the heck this callback URL actually is this is the URL which on which Facebook would send everything related to the messages people are sending to your chatbot, right? So you have to interact with your people, the people which you are messaging you or actually you want to message them in return using this URL, right? So it is a kind of a, you know, it's not a bridge but actually Facebook is a bridge but it's the other side of the bridge right so this URL is HTTPS right so you need to have an HTTPS URL otherwise it would probably not work right and also you cannot have local host here right so Facebook needs a genuine real online web URL so what happens is that either you can buy an HTTPS certificate and set it up with your website or actually if you don't have any website at all then purchase one or whatever you want to do or you can go ahead with some cloud platforms like Heroku is the one so it's free and uh, you can just create a free account here and uh, it just allows you to develop in your languages like it supports node ruby php and a bunch of other languages as well so just create a new app just leave the app name as blank it will just automatically sign just leave it as united states and uh, just create your first app so it just gives me obscure journey as my app name and uh, right here so here's the magic right so first of all to work with Heroku, well, the only purpose for Heroku is that it just provides me a platform to push my code to and this would be my webhook, right? Otherwise, if you have a HTTPS website, you don't need Heroku, right? You can just get started without it. So anyways, now first of all, what you need to do if you are using Heroku, you need to install this Heroku tool belt because it would be really, really useful to use command line instead of just you know doing everything with GUI right so install Heroku tool belt and uh, just do it from this website if you're on Windows just do it like that it's similar it's easy to install it's just straightforward so once you are done just open your terminal and say <coughs> Heroku login right and then enter your Heroku credentials. These are the same one which you'll create while signing up for a free account. <clears throat> and once you are done, it will just show you logged in as your email address. Right, so, okay, so the next thing is that you need to initialize a Git repository. Now, the reason is that Heroku would kind of, uh, you know, work on Git and you can just push your files using the git push just old school stuff if you have ever used git so <clears throat> what you have to do is that since we are creating a 
first time repository so we can just directly make use of something like this otherwise you can just create a repository and then add it to Heroku later on right so you can just do git in it hit enter and it says initialize an empty git repository now if, I, if you see we don't have anything in here so let's just create a simple PHP file in here and see it's now here now what I can do is I can say git add dot which would just add my files to git and then I can just commit it to be first commit hit enter right and now the files are ready to, ready to be pushed and then finally I can do git or actually not right now because we don't have this Heroku setup yet so as you can see now I skipped the Heroku setup after init so what I have to do now is add an existing git repository to Heroku with the help of this right so what I have to do is type Heroku git remote and by the way git comes automatically I guess it's pre-installed with Max but in Windows I guess I have showed a lot of times even in node tutorials I guess how to install git so it's pretty straightforward actually you just have to download git bash or something and you will be good to go if you don't want to set environment variables otherwise it just works with your regular command line as well for Windows obviously so Heroku git remote and then a a means your application name and in this case it's obscure journey as it has automatically filled for me 44914 right and hit enter and uh, okay I guess oh I'm making use of kind of scope resolution operator kind of stuff so just we do have just one here okay so I can see that it said the remote to this URL and it essentially means that instead of this URL now we can make use of just Heroku to you know add or push our files to this Heroku URL repository it's similar to what we do in github if you have ever used it so finally as you can see we have index and it is already ready to be pushed so I can do git push Heroku and then finally it's on master branch right and hit enter right and I guess I should have added at least one line so that we could have actually see we could actually see what is happening so we can just do that right now so you can just make use of any text editor something like that right and then again I'm just gonna do git add dot git commit second commit and then just git push Heroku and then master right so it's just pushing to our source as you can see it just detected the PHP application as well right so now what happens is that if I go to my app you can see that hello world is here right and it's HTTPS so you know it's essentially just loading index.php right so if I just name it API or api.php or something so it just load it would just load that so that is how pretty much how you set up your index.php file on Heroku and actually we didn't see a lot in this tutorial regarding our chatbot but uh, what goes here is this URL right this callback URL so we just edit this sort of code which we wrote here in PHP to create a kind of working chatbot condition so yeah so that's all pretty much for this tutorial and in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you how to set up your Facebook app to work with a chatbot right so that is all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then in the next one